really, woo, calm down. Everybody calm down, okay? That is the biggest blue coral I have ever seen in Thailand. Whoa, guys, it happened again. This may be the most beautiful one I've ever seen. I know I've seen some stunners, but this one. What's up, guys? It's a new day again after that amazing last video. I, I cannot emphasize enough how much you should go and check that out. It was amazing. Me and Cass are back out the next morning gonna do some road cruising gonna do some daytime walking i doubt we'll find anything but if we do i'll keep you posted if not i'll catch you later for the night's activities but yeah let's go explore the forest let's go all righty sun's setting we're eating chocolate cake and getting ready for another night in the field and it's gonna be awesome i can just tell uh, there was no snakes around today but that's pretty much to be expected it's very rare that you see snakes during the day here but enough sitting and chatting let's get going all right guys check this out we haven't road cruised any snakes yet but we did road cruise this awesome atlas moth look at that it'll probably take off off my hand but i managed to gently kind of get it in it's a bit tatty this one not in the greatest condition by any means but i always love to show these on the channel because they are truly incredible like one of the most iconic and famous and incredible moths in the world just flapping about on the road wow okay took us a while to get a snake but Jeez. Hold on, let me turn my light off so you can see properly. Look at this, guys. This is an absolutely stunning Malaysian morph dark-headed cat snake. I call it the Malaysian morph because we feel like we see this bright orange form with the green head more often in like far southern Thailand near the Malaysian border. But there's probably not any truth to that. It's probably just coincidence that we've seen these. Don't bite. Please don't bite me. Please don't bite me. But look at that. Don't bite me. Please don't bite me. I know these guys like to bite when they just rest your hand against him, but... Damn, that thing is so nice. Just check out that colour, guys. This may be the most beautiful one I've ever seen. I know I've seen some stunners, but this one has such a green head and the body is... I mean, just take a close-up of that. All right, here's a bit of in-hand footage before we let this guy go. Absolutely stunning individual. What a beautifully coloured snake. Like, these can be so dull sometimes, but this one for sure is an absolute beaut. Like, look at the greens on the head. And thankfully, this one's also been very docile. No bites at all. Um, this is a rear fang venomous species, which can have effects in people on very rare occasions, but I doubt it would have any on me. But yeah, another car coming, so gonna go. All right, the prime Sumatran Cobra cruising hour is over. So uh, I left Cass at the room because she's got stuff to do. And I'm gonna go to this new stream and try that out. Walk really far up. I could be gone for a while. So uh, let's, see what sh let's see what shows up. I hope something good. So first snake since I got out walking is this monster Melanota. Where's your head, buddy? Oh, where are you? Lurking under here somewhere, no? Yeah, wait, let's... Oh, where are you going? Whoa, hello buddy. Oh, check out the size of this thing, man. This one's like a good 1.7 meters. Really, woo, woo. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I get it, I get it, broski. Let's, let's calm it down here. Let's everybody calm down. Everybody calm down, okay? I just want to show you to the viewers for a couple seconds. Yeah, like that. Oh, I love these, man. Very common, uh, although not particularly common at this spot, although we do see them every now and again. But yeah, I'm gonna grab a quick phone photo and then I'm gonna let him go. But that's a nice uh, second snake of the night. All right, a couple photos done. Let's let this guy cruise off into the water where I can tell he wants to go. Goodbye. This guy's flying down the current. Took us a while to get our next snake of the night, but it's this uh, little Hatilla McTerrazans here draped on this Vine. Oh, sorry, I'm a bit out of breath. I had to hike up a long way to get this guy. I was way down there and I just saw its venter from up here. Pretty common species around these. These always appear in my videos from this area. So we're just gonna leave him be and uh, catch my breath and keep going. All right, finally got the first Hagens of the night and it's this uh, nice, nicely sized female here. First female I think we've seen in this area. Get some zoom in there and look at this beauty. Pretty faded patterning on this girl, but she's decent size and looking fantastic there in ambush. I absolutely love seeing these in the jungle. I'm hoping I might see the other big green viper soon, but you know, it's a small chance. I just picked up another snake and I guess a lot of you will recognize this as the dusky or slender wolf snake. 
uh, quite a common sight along like forest streams, especially in the dry season. This one was actually swimming under the water in this pool right here. Um, generally, I see them swimming under the water here and I think they're mainly searching for skinks. Uh, all right, let me quickly discuss the most interesting points about this snake before we move on. So first and foremost, it's got these incredibly ke heavily keeled scales and it is so long and thin despite being a primarily terrestrial and aquatic species. I don't understand quite how its morphology actually helps it hunt in these environments, but I have seen it climbing on occasion. So uh, I guess it helps in that realm for sure. But yeah, um, I've seen quite a few of these already this year, so I'm gonna let it go. Up here is the second Ahetula mcterrazans of the night. Of course, gonna leave this one in situ as well, and it's pretty high up, so I'm not gonna put the effort into catching that one. Just got another Hagen's chilling out, like right above the stream in this veg, and he's angry. He struck at me just before we turned the flash on. You can see with that tongue flick in action that this boy really wants to have a go at me, doesn't he? But uh, let's not stress him out too much. This is like, uh, what is this? Uh, I think only the second of the night so far, but quite a cool spot here. Just extended out on this plant over this beautiful stream. All right, I just walked up uh, from the stream back to the road and a uh, little snake is chilling out on it. And it's actually only my second ever Calamaria pavimentata, collared reed snake. I just got my lifer a uh, couple months ago, this year, in fact. And uh, after waiting so many years for my first, along comes the second. Let me get this guy in hand, although these little reeds are hard to pick up off the road. What's nice about these guys is they have like a bright yellow venter, you see that? And uh, other than that, they're pretty unremarkable. To be honest, they are a reed snake, but this is, I'd say, a very uncommon snake, this southern form, Calamaria pavimentata. Uh, this form only occurs in the far south of Thailand, whereas there's a different morph that occurs in the rest. Probably two separate species, um, but yeah. Another snake to add to the list for tonight, another unusual one for the trip which is uh, going quite well as far as those are concerned. Very nice. Ah, another day goes by without a single drop of rain. It's been way too hot for herping. There's just not gonna be snakes active. And to be honest, I do not wanna be active in this weather. So I did no herping today, but it's late afternoon now and we're gonna head into town, get some dinner and then get out for another night of herping. Last night was pretty good, although I don't know if I actually filmed an outro to that particular evening, but we're gonna pick it up again today and we're gonna go in, go hard. Cass is gonna be joining us in the field tonight. So I'll have an extra pair of eyes spotting and hopefully some good stuff shows up. Let's see if we find something in the late afternoon. If not, I'll catch you later. All right, dinner is done and we are gonna do a bit of late afternoon, early evening cruising here. Hopefully we get something on the road. We got something last night. Let's see if we can replicate that today. All right, little snake crossing the road just after we filmed that intro. It's this Parius margaritaforis, first one of the trip actually. Um, these can be really common around here at some times a year, but in the last couple trips here, I didn't see a single one. So yeah, these guys are out and about. Favorite prey of the blue coral snake in these kind of forest edge agricultural areas. This one's pretty small too. This is a, this is a dinky snake right here. Cute. All right, so cruising didn't produce much, so we're gonna hit the river now and walk for a few hours. I'm hopeful that more stuff will show up, different stuff than we've seen already. I see there's a good chance, but it's always tough to find snakes around here. Like this place is notoriously difficult. In fact, one of the hardest places I know to find snakes actually. But the thing with this place is when you do find them, if they're not Hagen's, they're usually pretty cool. So let's run our luck up tonight, see what happens. Wow, well, that's a, for a decent snake to kick off tonight. A huge blue coral snake, not on the road, but in habitat. Cass, I'm gonna need you to take my phone so I can catch it, so hurry up. Okay, I've got it by the tail and it is coming out right now. And that is the biggest blue coral I have ever seen in Thailand without a doubt. Oh, where are you going? Under the rocks? I'm gonna leave you to come out on your own. There's a lot of tangly roots here for it to get caught up in, so. And after my last incident with one of these, I'm extra careful even though this one is so long that for it to get from its head to the tail where I'm holding it would be almost impossible. But yeah, this is a monster blue coral, guys. One of the largest I've ever seen without a doubt, possibly on par with that one I got in Malaysia in January, if not even larger. And 
it's very, very rare to get these in habitat, you know, like finding them in habitat due to how secret they, secretive they are, especially in these parts of Thailand where there's... Oh, do you see it just bite the crap out of that, the hook? Holy, you probably couldn't see it so well from your angle, but yeah, these, these bite, man. I remember a few seconds before I got, well, a few minutes before I got bitten by one last time we were here, I said to Cass that these guys love to bite and uh, I'm going to move it out into the stream so we don't have to have so much problem with... Oh my god, this is a huge blue coral. Wow. Is there a nice bit of open space? Yeah, there is, just down here. Alright, well, that's probably enough chaotic bad video for now. I'll pick up the video once I've calmed this big boy down and uh, then we can talk, okay? Whoa, guys, it happened again. So remember last video? that when I was handling the Rhabdophis flaviceps, Cass was like, another one, another one. Well, I was just holding this here seconds after I stopped filming. And Cass was like, oh, snake, snake, snake. And spotted this dwarf reed snake just cruising around in the leaf litter right here. Another two for one catch. I'll film a bit with that one in a minute. But uh, yeah, we saw a dwarf reed snake uh, in the OG video where we came here a few days ago, a couple of days ago. But uh, that's crazy that we just got two snakes after seeing none here for the first like hour of walking and then Cass spots one seconds after I spot this blue coral. Is it? Yeah. You're joking. <laughs> no. I'm just going No, it's just digging it. It's just digging its uh, head in like they do. Don't worry. You can hold it properly. My blue coral's heading off. Um, all right, we've got to do something here because we've got an overload of snakes. Okay, as I said before, I have way too many photos of blue coral snakes, so I'm going to let this one cruise off. I would like to photograph it, but it's just too much hassle and uh, I don't want to stress the snake out anymore. So I'm going to let him cruise off back into the bushes, just, <coughs> sorry, just about 10 meters from where I found him hunting. And now we can go and take a look at Cass's friend. Where is he? All right, and here's a close look at the uh, other snake, the one that Cass found, this little dwarf reed snake. We saw one in the last video, but uh, that was a tiny juvenile, and this is like an actual adult. There's a reason it's called a dwarf reed snake. These are truly tiny, but it's been a great trip for rarer terrestrial snakes so far. The staring at the ground is really paying off, and Cass is spotting stuff as well as me, spotting good stuff too, so let's let this guy go. For the frog lovers who watch my channel, I feel like I have to include one of these every time I see them. Here's our first long-nosed horn frog of our stay in this particular area. This one blending in perfectly there with those leaves. Looking fantastic as always, just gonna leave them be. All right, finally got our first Hagen eye of the night. You know we can't go a night without seeing one of these. This is kind of a small one. You can see my hand in the background. Smallest one we've seen so far without a doubt. And uh, you can see him there looking absolutely fluorescent neon green. Another great ambush position. Love seeing these glowing green things in the forest. All right, en route back. Just got another Parias Margarita Flores on the road. Funny how none show up for me for so long and then we get two in the same night. Well, none show up for me in this area. Obviously, I found them in a lot of other areas recently. Considering these are one of Thailand's most common snakes, they do so well. This one's got cool reduced banding, but the dogs have started off, so I'm just gonna let this one go. All right, guys, I think that's gonna do it for tonight. Um, I wanna get up early tomorrow to do one proper morning herp before I get out of here. It's been way too hot the other mornings, but I'm gonna get up super early, try and make the most of it. So yeah, not too much out tonight besides that little burst of activity, but still it was a very solid couple of days of herping and I'm, just love and I'm just loving every second of being here. It's amazing. So make sure you like, subscribe if you haven't already, share the video, comment, whatever. Help me out, help me help the channel grow. It will, I really appreciate it. So.